Another viewer has a question about the Delta variant. Uh, Kisha asks, I want to know how it af it's affecting our children, especially those under 12 that can't be vax vaxxed. Are they starting to get Delta at a higher rate than previous COVID? Yeah, this is a really good question. I mean, you know, we're sort of seeing this this uh, data come in real time and the numbers have gone up um, for the number of children who've been infected. So just uh, across the, the board, it went up, I think, you know, a few percent over the last couple of weeks, but uh, 15 to 20 percent just over this last week. But at the same time, that's happening, Anderson. Um, you have uh, like 19 percent of cases over the past week. But at the same time, obviously, the numbers are going up all over the country. So if the question is, is Delta variant sort of selectively targeting children? We, we don't, we, I don't think we could say that. No, I don't think that this seems to be a variant that is more selectively affecting children. But as the numbers go up, children in large part because uh, you know they are unvaccinated, those numbers are gonna go up well, maybe disproportionately so. You know, Professor Michael Osterholm was on this program uh, a, a while, a couple of days ago, and he said something that's really struck with me, and I keep thinking about it, which is essentially, I mean, I still have the antiquated notion of, of air droplets. I know I should have known that it's like a, a more of a, a aerosol type spray, but uh, I was still envisioning that in my mind. And he was saying, essentially, if you were in a, you know, a room or outside anywhere and you can smell somebody smoking 20 feet away, that's like the virus, that, that if you can smell smoke in a room from somebody who's 10 or 20 feet away, that could, that's the same thing as you know, getting in the midst of uh, the, the, the virus from somebody else. That yeah, I mean, that, it's a really compelling example. I mean, and, and if you want to even take that analogy a step further, you know, okay, so that's an example of aerosolization, right? The, the virus is acting like an aerosol. Smoke is a good example, good metaphor for that. But Delta variant is kind of like, you know, somebody sitting at your house party smoking five cigarettes at the same time and is just like blowing a ton of smoke out now. Mm. So it can still travel, but there's just a lot more of it. And it can it can, you know, you, you, if you're in a far room of the house, you're probably going to smell it from somebody at the other other side of your house. Mm.